threats, let me tell you a question. I don't take kindly to threats. I just don't. The weather's good. My skin is chocolate. Did I just say that out loud? How are you guys starting your week off today? What are, have you set any major goals on this wonderful Monday? Have y'all? I got a nice little drive. I had to stop for gas. But last night, um, Deasia was live. And I don't know, maybe it's the weeds. I, I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe it's the weeds or, you know, I really don't know what it is. But Bianca kind of threatened me. And I didn't like that. Don't let me tell you a question. The, one of the scariest things ever, one of my biggest fears on the highway is A, hitting a deer, B, having a blowout, right? So I was on the highway before I just got off to get gas and stuff. Um, and there was a, one of them big old semis with the open top that be having like gravel and stuff in there. And I hate being behind them because one time one of their little rocks, one of their little pebbles fell off and cracked my windshield, right? So, um, when it cracked my windshield, I had to get it fixed, of course. But this motherfucker had a blowout right next to me. Whoa, I that I now know that I know I don't panic in in instant situations. I don't. I'm good. Yeet it But let me get get to my highway concert. I just had to stop for gas and some water. And I'm gonna call y'all right back. No, I'm not gonna call y'all right back. I'm just gonna keep vlogging because I'm shaking. I'm going like this and that looks ridiculous. Love you. Yeet it Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Welcome to Mama Shay's world. How y'all doing? So, it's been hard for me to come up with topics for Motivational Monday. And one of my people, who used to invite different topics, has not sent me any lately. Yee So as I was driving, I thought of this. I said, now, let's just do a motivational Monday mental health check-in. Happy Pride Month to everybody. That's, let's start there. Um, we halfway through the year, y'all. And this is just a motivational Monday check-in. It's a small little video halfway through the year for those of you who do New Year's resolutions on in January what have you do a check in with yourself do a mental health check in with yourself what have you accomplished in six months what have you said you were going to do that you got done what have you said you was going to start that you started or even didn't start. What is it looking like? I know my camera is shaking, y'all. Is it? Um, and then once you look at it, ask yourself, are you being true to yourself? Because if that list ain't moved none, Y'all, let me tell you that question real quick. ADHD just kicked in. This is how you know you got trust issues. When you have a rear view backup camera and you still turn around. When you park it. And when you have rear view mirrors and all that other stuff, you still be looking all around. Just use your mirrors. Sometimes I do it and I have to catch myself. Another backup. Great. Great. Anywho. Are you, are you being true to yourself? Are you letting yourself down? 
Um, ask yourself that question. Don't get mad now when you look at that list. Some of y'all can look at that list and probably go have a, a celebration of party. You halfway through the list, halfway through the year, look at your list and say, oh, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. I feel like this, I feel better. I feel better in this area. I have strengthened this area, you know? Because if you set goals for yourself and you actually accomplish them, that's grounds for a celebration. I'm here to tell you. Now, if you set goals for yourself and you ain't done did them, some of them like me, Y'all know my New Year's resolution is not in January. It is in August every year. So my year is coming up. And for me, in my year, I have accomplished everything except one thing. And August ain't even here yet. So I'm starting to work on my new list. But that one thing is horrible and it's, it's, it's important. And I can admit I've been slacking. I've been slacking. But in my defense, my one thing was to get a personal trainer and or start working out more because I really don't believe that I need a gym and or a personal trainer to hold me accountable. I can hold myself accountable. Be rough on myself like I would rough on them kids, right? But um, what I have accomplished... I mean, what I did not accomplish was, was getting a personal trainer. So I had to put that at the top of my list for next year when I get ready to sit down and have a meeting with Mama Shay for, in August. And I plan to do it this time sitting on a beach by myself. By myself. By myself. Y'all, today this old lady just almost had me have a meltdown. I'm oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, in case she watches my channel. The seasoned lady almost had me have a meltdown. I was in the restaurant getting my food. And all I heard was my granny's voice. She said, now, I'm loving that dress. You got to watch it then now. And I just looked at her. her. Her voice did something to my soul. It's not what she said. It was the compliment that she gave me. It was her voice. Just did something to my soul. I was just like, wow. I really miss my granny. But it also sent me into motivational Monday mode and, and just start thinking. Goals and accomplishments and things like that. I'm like, we halfway through the year. Let me check in with my YT family. I don't know how many of you guys... Because you know, I laugh and joke a lot. But they're the, the, the serious portion. You know, when y'all ask me to do those vision boards, I don't know how many of y'all did y'all vision boards and actually stuck with it. Same thing as resolutions, I would, I would, I guess, I think. The highway, oh, excuse me. The highway has so much construction. They turn the shortest, sometimes it's like double. I'm sorry, y'all. Because I'm in a backup right now. I'm down to one lane again, so I'm just clicking this. Anywho, um, I was going to be en route to them people's house, but I had something else to do. I had to go look at a couple of properties. to my back so I can get to work this week. And everything is starting to come together. So yeah, make sure y'all do that. Check, do a, do a mental health check-in. Do a half of a year mental health check-in with yourself. Check on those vision boards. Check on those resolutions those goals. Check on all of it. Let's see what y'all got accomplished. If nothing, get to work. 
Also, did I say happy Pride Month? Oh, that's a bird. Eat the D. Did I say happy Pride Month to y'all? Everybody out there that it pertains to? I'm glad that they came up with a lot of these different things. Y'all yeah, see? Oh, 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 excuse me. Jeez, eat the D. And I wouldn't be able to go to their house anyway because I was going in a totally opposite direction. I would have turned my trip around, around, around. Did y'all see that um, whole Binky put on her channel? Who deserves to get a whooping? I don't understand why people think Teron don't get in trouble. Teron gets in trouble. He gets in trouble. I'm missing my co-host and her two assistants like crazy. But I get it. It's summertime. They be busy. I think what it is, y'all, they get to their Gigi house and don't want to leave and their parents is like, mm-mm, ain't dealing with it. But I can remember when I was little, I used to have to go to my dad's. My granny used to send me to my dad's for the whole, well, if not for the whole summer, at least for a month out of the summer. And you know, my dad still was doing what he had to do, so I was with my granny and my cousins. But I am thankful because then if they would have came today, I wouldn't have been able to go and take care of no business. We would have been at the park, at the beach. Hopefully when they do come this week, Thursday, that it's nice out. Um, what else did I have to tell y'all? While I'm stuck on y'all see this construction. Construction. Not to mention in the middle of rush hour. So that's what's taking so long. Yeet the D. Woof. So I'm almost to my destination, which is home. I'm gonna get in my box. Did I do all of my reactions? I tried to do that pig one on my live. I don't know if it was, maybe I need to do it again. I gotta go do something. I might do one when I get in the house. I am 45 minutes away from home. So I love y'all. Don't forget, I just had to drop this. And by the time I post this, it, Yeet the D. I, my sequence. I normally do my videos and pre-record it, and I post them in sequence. Right, the last two, three, two or three, been out of sequence for some reason. I don't know why. What Google has got going on? Oh, this why? Cause we down to one lane versus three, and these people are trying to get on. And so people probably being ignorant, knowing that these people just got off work and trying to hurry up and get home and not letting them in. I'm rolling. I'm going five miles an hour, though. It's something instead of zero. Right? Um. So I just called this a Motivational Monday slash half of the year check-in. It, it probably ain't going to post on a Monday. Because today is Monday. So it's probably going to be Wednesday when y'all see this. I'm trying to give them every video every day if it's not if it's not a reaction to give it a theme thoughtful Tuesdays or thoughtful Thursdays I got that one motivational Mondays I don't know what I can do for Wednesdays and Fridays what what y'all think I could do I don't know that's a good one mmm Y'all, I'm loving the hairstyle, but it ain't doing it for me. Some, something ain't right. Something ain't right. I don't know what it ain't right. But I am getting that other hair we put on next week. I, it's probably because it's so much. It seems big. I don't like big hair. But I love this hair for the summertime. I told y'all I love it. Because it's, it's just like you just... You get in the shower. You 
wash it, wet it, or whatever you got to do to it. Pull it up in a clip. Do your regular shower routine. Get out, dry off, do what you got to do. Get dressed, take that clip out, and go. That's it. Might put a little shine on it so it don't poof up depending on what type of hair it is. But y'all, I was flabbergasted that this hair is two and a half years old and look. That tip, that, that, that Timo hair didn't do this when it was wet. Remember, if y'all look back at them videos, it was just stiff. See, look, 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 look. I just talked about them people in this um, bus trying to get in and I ain't letting it in. You ain't getting off work. You still at work. And look, she rolling like that. She just knows she's going to bogart herself away. I'm sorry, nope. You must don't know who Mama Shay is. Hi. And then she want to hunk at me. Hey, boo. Don't do that. Be kind and I'll be kind to you. <laughs> Yeet the dee. Okay, I love y'all. And I will call y'all as soon as I get in the house. Thank you.